Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to go through differentiation. Whenever they say differentiate or find the derivative dy over dx, f dash x, y dash, or find the gradient, we need to differentiate. It is very important to remember that before differentiating, you must simplify. If you have square root x, you will write it as a power which will give us x to the power of half. In this example, we have x to the power of a under a square root. This we can write it as x to the power of a over 2. Here we have got a b and x to the power of a. Whatever power the x has, will be written as a numerator and this here will be written as the denominator. So we have x to the power of a over b. If you have x in the denominator, we will always bring it up. This is 1 over x to the power of 1. This can be written as x to the power of negative 1. 2 over x can be written as 2 x to the power of negative 1. 3 over 4x square. The numbers don't change their position. Only the x which is in the denominator, we will bring it up. So we will have 3 over x to the power of negative 2. Here we have got x to the power of 1 multiplied by square root x. First, write it as a power. So x to the power of 1 multiply by x to the power of half. Whenever you multiply, you add the powers. So it's going to be x to the power of 3 over 2. In this case, we have x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 3. If we divide, we minus the power. So 5 minus 3 will give us 2. And that's how we got x to the power of 2. Here you have square root x over x to the power of 3. First, we will write square root x as x to the power of half. And we have got x to the power of 3. Again, it is divided. So we will write half minus 3, which will give us x to the power of negative 5 over 2. And if you have a case where there is a bracket and a power, we have to expand it. It's a very good idea to learn these two identities. You need to use it in many places. So a plus b square will equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b square is basically same except we change the sign over here. Let's do an example. Suppose you have 2x minus 3 square. Here a is 2x and b is equal to 3. Now we are going to use this identity and replace a with 2x and b with 3. We will get 2x to the power of 2 minus 2 2x multiplied by 3 plus 3 square. Also remember that this 2 here is for the 2 inside and for the x. So that's how we got 4x square minus 12x plus 9. Let's start differentiation. If you have y is equal to x to the power of n, when you differentiate, you will write dy over dx is equal to the power n we multiply by whatever number is before x. In this case, we have 1. So n multiplied by 1 will give us n. And then we subtract 1 from n. Let's do an example. We have y is equal to 2x to the power of 4. So we will write dy over dx is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 will give me 8. And if I subtract 1 from 4, I'm going to get 3. For the next example, we got y is equal to x. Whenever you're differentiating a equation with only x in it, 
when you differentiate, you are going to get dy over dx is equal to, what is the number before x? 1. That will be your answer. For the next question, here we have example y is equal to 3x. So what is the number before x here? 3. So dy over dx is equal to 3. And in this case, we have y is equal to negative 7 over 2x. So what is my dy over dx going to be? Negative 7 over 2. And here we have y is equal to negative x. Negative x means I have a 1 here, negative 1. So when I differentiate, my answer is going to be dy over dx is equal to negative 1. And till now, I'm sure you have understood that if I have y is equal to 1 over 7x, my dy over dx is equal to 1 over 7. Now, moving on, in this equation, we got y is equal to 1 over 4 square root x. I have told you before that you cannot differentiate before you simplify. So the first thing is that we will have to simplify this equation. And for doing that, I will change the square root x into x to the power of half. And then I shall bring the power of x as a numerator. So it will turn negative. Now that it has been simplified, I'm ready to differentiate it. So dy over dx is equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by negative 1 over 2. And from negative 1 over 2, I'll subtract negative 1. I'll get negative 1 over 8x. And negative half and negative 1 will give me uh, negative 3 over 2. Here we have y is equal to 6. Whenever you differentiate only a number, the answer is going to be 0. So dy over dx is equal to 0. Suppose you had y is equal to 3x plus 2. So the differentiation here is going to be 3 because whatever the number before x and differentiation of 2 is 0. So we don't write that. In this question, you have the x down and it's written as a radical. So the first thing we have to write it is as a power. We will get 3 over x to the power of 1 over 4, which we will bring up. It will become 3x to the power of negative 1 over 4. Now that we have simplified it, we will differentiate it. We will multiply 3 by negative 1 over 4. And from negative 1 over 4, we will subtract 1. This will give us negative 3 over 4x. And negative 1 over 4 minus 1 will give you negative 5 over 4. Here, we have a bracket. So the first thing we have to do is expand. We have to multiply 2x by x cube and 2x by negative 4. This will give us 2x to the power of 4 minus 8x. And now I can differentiate this. 2 multiplied by 4 will give me 8 and 4 minus 1, 3. If it is negative 8x, I have told you, if it's only x, your differentiation is going to be the number before x. In this case, it is negative 8. Moving on to the next question. Here you have x square as a denominator for the whole equation. So first thing we have to do is give the denominator to each numerator. That will give me 6x over x square plus 3 over x squared, plus x to the power of half, 
over x square. You know that if it is in the denominator, v minus the powers. So here 1 minus 2 will give me x to the power of negative 1. With 3, I don't have any x, so I will just bring the power up and it will become negative. Here you have half minus 2, which will give you negative 3 over 2. Now that it is simplified, we are ready to differentiate it. 6 multiplied by negative 1 will give me negative 6 x. Negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. 3 multiplied by negative 2, negative 6 x. Negative 2 minus 1, negative 3. Uh, here, the negative 3 over 2 will come down. And negative 3 over 2 minus 1 will give me negative 5 over 2. I'll simplify this and bring the power down to make it look more neater. Negative and positive is going to give me negative. Okay, so this question has been solved. Let's do two more examples. Here we have y is equal to bracket x plus 1 multiply by bracket x plus 2. So the first thing we have to do is expand the bracket. So we will get x times x, x square. x times 2 will give me 2x. 1 multiplied by x will give me x. And 1 multiplied by 2 will give me 2. 2x plus x, when I add it, I will get 3x. Now we are ready to differentiate. So dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 3. The 2 here is just a number, so the differentiation of that will become 0. The next example we have, y is equal to square root x bracket 3 plus x square. First, change the square root into square uh, power of half. And then we will expand the bracket. So x to the power of half multiplied by 3 will give me 3x to the power of half. And x to the power of half multiplied by x squared will give me x to the power of 5 over 2 because we add the powers here. Now when we differentiate, we will get 3 multiplied by half, which is 3 over 2, x half minus 1, which will give me negative 1 over 2. And the 5 over 2 in the next term will come here. And 5 over 2 minus 1 will give me x to the power of 3 over 2. Sometimes you need to simplify it more further. So this will give me 3 over 2. x to the power of negative half. I'll bring it in the denominator. It will become positive. So dy over dx is equal to 3 over 2 square root x plus 5 over 2 x square root x. Now, how did this come about? We know that x, multiple, x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of half is equal to x to the power of 3 over 2. So, we write down x and square root x as this. And this is equal to x to the power of 3 over 2. 